In January 2017, after the government banned the Consortium of Anglophone Civil Society, the government was categorical that the form of the state is not negotiable. The message was re echoed throughout the Euro amid persisting calls for dialogue. And on December 31st, 2017, the head of state said that the plight of the people has been listened to and that the decentralization process, which has existed for two decades, would be hastened. More than 19 months after the Anglophone crisis escalated, the need for a national debate on the federal system of government has been brought before the head of state by government officials. It is one of the proposals presented to the Bilingualism Commission to bring a speedy end to the ongoing Anglophone crisis. The population of Bamenda also wants the President of the Republic to revisit the history of Cameroon and reorganize a frank, sincere and inclusive dialogue between the government and Anglophones, including the diasporans. In the final communique after the Listen to the People mission, the population urged the government to provide an enabling environment for internally displaced and refugees in neighboring Nigeria to safely return to their respective homes. The need for the terrorism law to be repealed, infrastructural development hastened, were equally highlighted. Another proposal taken to Yaoundé is for the President of the Republic to grant amnesty to those in jail or on exile in connection with the crisis and the possibility to Cameroonians abroad to have double nationality. Amongst the dozens of proposals is a clarion call for the head of state to visit the region and address what they described as his children.